So which which is your which is your space going to be? Uh, this is my space. Oh, that's you right there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I've just been you know, searching around for some tropes and some schemes. And so yeah. So um, introduce yourself. Tell us where we are and what's happening here, and kind of what the uh, um, the goals are for this space. Um, okay. Do you have a name for the space yet? That's yeah. The um, the name of the space is Corrugate, which is kind of the structure inside of the, the cardboard. Mm -hmm. um, and this space is off of Corrugated Way, so I felt like it um, it matched. And plus the the nature of the space is that you know there's a the name implies structure and space, and that's kind of the premise: is that as we build the uh, this arrangement, that you're you're also learning about uh, learning about how to build it, and learning that there's like a a structure to everything that allows for the aesthetic happening to to occur. As simple as it is, it's like you need the walls, but it's it's like if you can get the walls to disappear and the art to come forward, then that's like when you're, it's ideal. So mm -hmm. that's the, the orientation of it, at least. Mm -hmm. But there are, there are 13 of us here, or 12 CCAD alumni and uh, one OSU alumni. And we each have a, yeah, kind of a cubby. And the, the nature of this, this space is that the middle is communal and always uh, if you need to spread out or if you need to you know, do whatever you need to do, then you can use it and otherwise you have your own intimate space as well. Uh, we're in the process of finishing up the, these cubicles that are modular themselves and can shift as the space shifts also. Because that, um, we'll, I'll be here for a little while, at least the, the lease that I signed is for three years. Oh, really? Yeah, so um, we've got to like, plan for the future, so it's all mobile at this point, and can ship as need be. Yeah, so, yeah we wanted, like, a, initially I had the intent that it would just be open and everyone could, like, be in, inhabit the space and it would be fine, but we learned pretty quickly that it's there's a certain uncomfortability to not knowing exactly where you're supposed to be. So that's how these uh, cubes uh, manifest. It mm -hmm. just like solves a simple problem. And I think it's important that as you, we have, you know, if you have a studio visit that you can stand in the middle and look into all of the studios rather than this awkward like, okay, come into my studio and mm -hmm. into my studio. You know, it's, it's much more free-flowing that way, and hopefully we can get that kind of um, traffic through here, you know, with like local galleries or just even visiting artists from the school where I work, then, you know, we just have artists come in and they can just look around and see what catches their eye and talk about it. And, mm -hmm. and you've got um, a number of different people here who, you know, work at galleries in town, you work at... CCAD at the galleries there, and also for um, Gallery in the Short North, which is remind me of the name. Yeah, I, I helped. Uh, I helped Hammond Harkins move okay. when they when they transferred there. I, mm -hmm. I haven't been back there lately because I've been busy. But there, yeah, that's uh, that's certainly a hopeful route. Is that you know, as Hammond Harkins is looking to turn over a new leaf, uh, maybe they'll find some inspiration here, and mm -hmm. perhaps we can get some more local young artists into these already functioning galleries and uh, that have their own networks and schemes that, you know, to a younger person in the city might seem convoluted, like where it's coming from or what the appetite is for a lot of the work that's selling in there and whether or not the work that we're making can have the same appeal to mm -hmm. this, whoever's buying it locally. Yeah, and so, and that definitely, you know, the design of your space, it feels, um, you know, like a networking space, like you kind of described a little bit, and where, which um, feels a lot different to, uh, to me from a lot of the studios in town, like uh, 400 Rich or Millworks, where I'm at. You know, things are much more close, like everybody is in kind of their own little closed-off space. Right. And uh, you don't have that. Um, 
it, it, feel, it feels to me like what you're talking about is kind of a group of artists working together towards a common goal of everybody kind of supporting each other's careers um, rather than, yeah, everybody just kind of being in their own little world all the time. Right. And, uh, and I feel like that also uh, promotes the, the creative and the, um, the creative process, but also this, this notion that you're always getting dialogue from the other artists in the space, whether you mm -hmm. want it or not. You know, if the, the person across from you is just constantly churning out work, then you're going to have to feel that motivation because it's not behind their closed door mm -hmm. that they're just like, going at it. And, there, you know, it's, there is a communal premise, like you're, you're opting into this uh, program, ultimately. Mm -hmm. And the, this is like, if I had a pipe dream, this is like the very beginnings of, an, of a much larger institution that I think, you know, if you're going through this this process of becoming an artist, uh, you know, also learning preparator work or like the, the aspect of forging new spaces, it should be in the curriculum of, of artistry. So as we're here working and feeding back and um, lending advice and like gaining insight, then it's also we're learning how to build, how to um, understand the poetics of the space. You know, when, we, when I got this space, it was completely open and the walls were yellow and there's uh, you know, no divisions at all. So it's how do we make the most out of one big space? Mm -hmm. And we had like locker, you know, CCAD is nice enough to donate some lockers. And so you can still have this, you know, this appeal of like, if you need to lock something up, but otherwise, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know why you would have a closed door on a studio. Mm -hmm. Nothing to keep secret. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, well, and it, and it has the vibe of that, yeah, kind of the school studio situation, which a lot of you are coming, you know, kind of straight out of. And uh, so it seems like you're almost trying to, like, keep some of that um, environment for yourselves as you're kind of going off on your own. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's definitely the nature is uh, we, we're all coming from an academic environment, and mm -hmm. it, it is kind of geared towards. Uh, keeping alumni in town and uh, solidifying them as local artists, or I don't know if that solidifying is the right word, but you know, really establishing this person is working in Columbus. And it's this, you know, meant to be a stepping stone to wherever they land, or if it happens to stimulate the local scene, then that's even better. Mm -hmm. If they can stay and make work and like have the, I think mediation of artwork allows this new, uh, realm of it's not essential now to be in these meccas of art like Chicago, New York, LA mm -hmm. because you can it, you know you look on the internet and there's art everywhere and you can show people and people can understand what you're doing just like you, you know how you're documenting here and how much that does for just explaining what's actually happening here so and I mean it's it's funny that we are right across the railroad tracks from some of the most desirable property in Columbus. Like the short north is directly to the west mm -hmm. of us. Off, you know, if you head down Fifth, you run into the, the heart of the rest of the galleries, and it's it's like five blocks away. You know, but because of these railroad tracks, all of a sudden this place is much more affordable, and it's in an area that isn't quite so defined and perceivably is um, still raw. I mean, you go outside and there's still graffiti everywhere and we have pretty interesting neighbors the star house is next door so it's a, a, a rec center and refuge for homeless youth mm -hmm. so there's lots of like drifter kids around here and it's just like a strange scene mm -hmm. and it's here is a uh, this is like the the larger the largest of the galleries and what was most important to me, because as you come through this door, you would normally encounter the entirety of the space, but I felt like that was pretty jolting. So we decided to build this, uh, this wall here, which is mobile, and it was fun to engineer. Like we, um, you typically want plywood behind your walls, you know, and so there's actually plywood every 18 inches so we took the metal studs and yeah. turned them in and mounted the plywood on the inside so that we didn't have to sh plywood the whole thing because mm -hmm. otherwise you end up if you don't do the whole thing you, end, you wouldn't be able to hang the drywall mm -hmm. just that's the nature of like the relief but 
Um, so there is structure and it's, it's on casters, so if you wanted a, a gallery that was much more obtuse and then came to that very small exit here, it would be possible and very easy to just roll it to that, or if you, even if you wanted to just like this awkward squinch of like, you know, not understanding where you are, mm -hmm. but when you're coming out of the store, it's, it seemed the most reasonable and the, the windows also were like an immediate uh, recognition that this should be tied to these other gallery spaces mm -hmm. that uh, we're also working on. And so this is one that's, yeah, so this is one that's in progress. Yeah, so they all had drop ceilings. We, uh, there were tile, it was a, this tile floor, like this beige tile, so we ripped that up, primed and painted the concrete, ripped off the mop guards, which is actually much more time consuming than you think it is. <laughs> and so now we're just, you know, the, just really trying to finish it off the space and tie up all the loose ends, which I think is important when you're making a gallery space is not that, you know, the, the tendency for me is to just want to, you know, fill it with art, like let's just paint it and fill it, but there, it just, there needs to be this feeling of a resolved space, I think, otherwise you're going to be distracted when you're looking at the art, and it's just, I've, we've been here for a few months and it's, there's this urge to just open up to the public, but I, I think also it's important to just really finish things up.